So here we're going to talk about the elasticity along a straight line demand curve. And this figure here shows how demand becomes less elastic as the price falls along a linear demand curve. Now there are two things that I want to mention before we get on with these tables is that prices above midpoint causes the demand to be elastic and prices below the midpoint causes demand to be inelastic. Now let's go through the examples or the tables. So so let's see what happens if the price decreases from $25 to $15. Now when the price decreases from $25 to $15 what happens is that the quantity demanded increases from 0 to 20. So the quantity demanded of hot dogs increases from 0 to 20 an hour. And the average price is, um, is $20. And the average uh, quantity is 10 hot dogs. 10 hot dogs. And if you, you're wondering how I got these numbers, well, I just take 12.5 plus 25 that is equal to 40 and I divide it by 2 and 10 hot dogs uh, The quantity demanded is 0 to 20. I take 20 and I divide it by 2. I guess I'll just uh, Note that down here 20 divided by 2 probably can't see that but yeah, and that it was equal to 25 plus 12.5 or uh, Yeah, 25 plus 12.5 or no, 25 plus 15. And that is divided by 2 to get 40 divided over 2, which equals to 20. And so we got all these numbers. And with, all, with these numbers, we can really calculate the price elasticity of demand. So the price elasticity of demand is uh, 20. Remember the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price. So our change in quantity is 20 over uh, 20 over 10. And take that and we divide that by uh, 10 over 20 because we take the changes, we take the changes first or the change in price or quantity and we divide that by the average so that's how we get the price elasticity of demand of 4 and since our average price and average quantity is 20 to 10 4 exists right about here I know that the graph isn't really perfect but you get the idea now let's do the next one. Let's say that the price falls from 10 to 0. So falls from 10 to 0. Then the quantity demanded increases from 30 to 50 hot dogs an hour. 30 to 50. And the average price is $5. And the average quantity is 40 hot dogs. And how I get this is, well, quantity demanded increase, pretty much increase by 20. So we take uh, 20 or 30 to 50. No, we take 30 plus 50 and we divide it by 2 and we get, that's how we get 40. Average price, well, the price decreases from 10 to 0. So that's pretty much 10 divided by 2 change in 10 divided by 2 to get the average easy so now that we got all these numbers what we can do is we can find the price elasticity which is uh, 20 over 40 for the uh, average for the or the uh, for the average quantity demanded or the percentage change in quantity demanded 20 over 40 because the quantity demanded there's a change there's a change in 20 here so that's where I got my 20 from and that divided by the average quantity of 40 and for the price it is 10 over 5 because there's a change in 10 as we see here and we calculated the average price to be 5 and that will give us uh, 1 over 4 1 over 4 
So at an average price of five dollars and an average quantity of forty, which is about here, the elasticity is one over four one over four. And I forgot to put that the elasticity here is four. Now on to our final table where the price falls from 15 to 10. The quantity demanded uh, increases from 20, oh, lag, oops. Oh boy. So this is a really one bad lag. So quantity demanded increases from 20 to 30 and that's 20 to 30 hot dogs an hour and the average price is 1250 the uh, the average quantity is uh is 25 hot dogs and the price elasticity that we get from that is um 10 over 25 because we increase from 20 to 30 that's a change in 10 average quantity is 25 so 10 over 25 and divide that by uh, our percentage change in price and there's a change of five dollars for um for the numerator and the average price is 12.50 and that'll give us a total of one and i won't go through the details i'm sure this is a good exercise for you to do to act to how, how i find how we, I got 12.50 and how I got 25. You should calculate that for yourself to make sure you know how to do that on a test. And that's the point here. And at that point, our elasticity is one. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and this short summary. So what we learned in this video is that on a straight line demand curve, the elasticity uh, decreases as price falls and the quantity demanded in well the elasticity decreases as price falls and quantity demanded increases and the demand above the midpoint is elastic the but the demand below the midpoint is inelastic and the letting x be the elasticity as you can see in the graph when x is greater than one that means at these points the 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 demand is elastic on a straight line curve when it's less than one Right here, the demand on the straight line curve is inelastic. And that's all I want to go through in this video. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.